Fine spring afternoon. A little breezy here in Severna Park. I'm um, back to the right alongside Devin Williams. Uh, Devin, what are the, your keys to this first MIA game for Severn versus Mount St. Jones? Uh, well, Baxter, I think Severn needs to play some strong defense today. Severn's been kind of lacking on the defensive side, and that's been their weak side, so the defense really has to show up today. Offensively, we need to move the ball around and really get it to Jacob Todd. He's been the main guy for us on offense, and he's been, he's been going off recently. Yeah, definitely Jacob Todd. Last game he was out, he had uh, five goals and assists for Riverside in that 11-6 win, so hopefully feed the hot hand and hopefully got a good game going here. Indeed. I'm excited. Looks like it should be a good game. Yeah. This MSJ team, we were watching them in pregame, and they looked really nice. Have some nice little plays around here. Yeah, wearing a black jersey for, I think, the first time I've ever seen in yeah, it's, MSJ it's real history. Clean. But seemed pretty fired up pregame. Yeah. yeah, they're loud. They're ready to play. Yep. Some real nice uniforms. Then another key, I, I believe, for the Severn Admirals is just, like, controlling the face-off. Reed Gills, sophomore, one of the best face-off men in Think the country, and so just we're dominant there. Then extra possessions will be huge for Severn. Yeah, the Severn teams are hyped up too over there, but I don't know. Let's see what this, these teams, two teams, can do. Looks like Paul Baldwin is not playing. He's suited up for warmups, but hopefully we can have senior attackman and captain back soon. So yeah, all the times to do that just so it counts as a practice for them. So he'll probably be back next game. He's been dealing with a bit of a hamstring injury since being of tryouts, so we're hoping he comes back fine and well. This game's just about to start underway here. It's a bit of a cold day, so we're hoping these players stay a little warm on the sidelines and while playing. We'll see how that affects them. A little bit of a wind breeze, too. Yeah, weather could definitely play a factor here, potentially with that wind. Indeed. Honest, Bex, I did not know black was one of MJ's um, colors. Yeah, but it mu really must be New Jersey, because I've always known them as a white and purple team. But let me tell you, those uniforms are clean. Yeah. They're real clean. And yeah, they look brand new. The helmets look new, too. So I've got new uniforms too this year. Yeah, these are the new white jerseys. New helmets as well. Goalies staff up in the middle field and they sprint to the respective <laughs> goals. MSJ seems to win the sprint. We got Reed Gills here versus number 22, Andrew Ripon. Ripion. Senior. Junior. Junior. Reed Gills is sophomore, so last year he had an amazing year. I believe he was all conference, not completely sure. I believe he was all conference as well. He seemed to be. His boy's ready to play lacrosse. The whistle is blown. Oh! And MSJ wins! MSJ retains possession, and several will start out on the defensive side with Brady Irving coming in. Number three running around with Nick, Nick Saw following him. Number three, I believe that's Corey Myers, Jr. MSJ just passing it around right here, just seeing what they, what they got on the first possession. Justin Queen, great defender on number 23 there. Great defense, knocks the ball out in the stick. Wow, what nice defense by Justin Queen, but MSJ gets it right back. Nick Saw with the ground ball. Ooh. Whistle here. Some feisty play. We like that. Mount St. Joe. Severn retained possession. Yeah, sometimes players like to get a little couple of yards. These refs are going to keep them from doing that, though. Justin Queen on the ball here. Looking to cross half field, and he does. And here's the first offensive set for Severn with Chase Allen and Andrew Beard coming on. Yeah, the seven offense, they really have to move the ball around nice. Andrew Beard, who he is he's deadly when he gets an open field. Definitely. 
looking like I'm running some sort of pick and roll action. Luke Hayes with his little spin move. He has some, some surprising speed on him. Yeah, yeah. Chase Allen. Moving it to Beer, to Todd here. There's Todd running downfield with the shot. Ooh. Todd, he's the X Factor, so you're going to see him take a lot of shots today. Yeah, Severn retains possession here with 36 left on the shot clock. Chase Allen here. Looking to work his matchup. Shot and Ooh. save from MSJ. Yeah, Chase Allen just got knocked on his butt right 23 there. 23 here. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a nice play by him, number 23. That was a nice little play. Yeah. And MSK number 23, Aiden Aidenson. Justin Queens being really aggressive on defense, and it's working out. Got a cutting man. Ooh. Couldn't find him. Loose ball. However, MSJ picks up the GB. And each team has had an offensive set now, and we're t still tied at zeros. They've been aggressive on both sides, these Severn and um, MSG teams. Ooh, oh, I, oh, yeah, did he get that out? Yes, he did. A great check by Jameson Wilton. He's he's sprinting, he's running. I work with him at the Fat Crab. <laughs> yeah, he's a fellow uh, American public address student of mine. <laughs> Mason Irvin checking in for the Severn Admirals. Great pass by Beard to Trey Dring. Andrew Beard retains possession with the ground ball. That might be considered an error if this is baseball. <laughs> Jacob Todd looking at ISO is man. Ooh, little smack. Just drawing the double team. Number, they're ready for the double team. Ooh, spin move. MSJ definitely knows about Jacob Todd and what he can do. They want to shut him down as much as they can. Aggressive check by MSJ, and MSJ went, gets the ball back. This MSJ team's been real aggressive, and it's working out for them. Yeah. MSJ bench has a lot of energy right now. And I think it's working to their to their benefit right now. Yeah, these MSJ coaches are a little unhappy. They thought that should have been a flag or something like that. But another turnover. just Another turnover for MSJ, and Severn will get their third offensive set. So, three minutes in. Jacob Todd, Ooh, wow, he's running downfield. Big pocketed. Great play. It's well done by Mason Irvin and Jacob Todd there to keep the ball. And Severn takes the timeout to retain possession. And we will be with you. We will be right back. Good time out there by the Severn coach and staff. It seemed like Jacob Todd was in a little bit of a tough situation, so took a timeout, retained possession, probably drew up a play, and looking to capitalize here for the first goal of the game. Yeah, definitely a good idea to, idea to take a timeout there. They can uh, settle down, try, have the ball, so maybe they can figure something out, spread this MSJ off, uh, defense out. First look here for number 13, Tanner Huber, the uh, solo uh, freshman on this team, and also number 25, Carter Johnson. Checking in. Seven just moving it around right now. To Tanner Huber. Nice little pass there. 
Tanner Huber on it right now. Jacob Todd Ooh. sizing up his man. Going downhill. Some quality defense from number 26 there. Yeah, this MJ defense has been real stout. About 30 seconds left on the shot clock here. Luke Hayes now. Ooh, Andrew loose Beard ball. loses it, but still got time. About 10 seconds left on the shot clock. It's a great move by Tanner. Ooh. Last will be a shot clock violation. That's great defense by MSJ there. That was nice. That was real nice. Long pass. Looks to be too much. Nick Sot on the ground ball, and he Ooh. leaves the kid in the dust. Yeah, play great on the play by Nick Sot there. I got a little burn. Yeah, give it to Brady Irvin, see what he can do. Brady Irvin in the offensive set. Never mind. Justin Queen coming on. First look for Charlie Hall. Sophomore Charlie Hall. It's a great move by Todd. And Ooh. that's great vision. Ooh. Gotta catch that. You gotta catch yeah. that. He catch One thing that I'll say about yeah. Jacob Todd is he has great vision. Yeah, he does. But yeah, that was a great look and could have set up something great there. Yeah, you gotta catch those. You get that, you probably have a goal right there. Yeah, got the goalie off. He's in the guard. Mount St. Joe's looks to have some trouble with clearing this right now. And looks like their goalie will come up to midfield. Ooh. Brady yeah, Irvin almost. Nice. Interrupted that, but now MSJ is back in the offensive set. Oh, MSJ sideline. <laughs> One of the yep. players yelling another player to get out there. Oh wow! The starting defensemen today: are KJ Lloyd, Jameson Wilt, and Cole Kiefer alongside Nick Saad and other middies. First shot on goal and great nice. save by Willie Perez and some good distribution there. JQ with some speed. JQ out in the open field running. Mason Irvin here. Agent zero, but agent two here. Yep. Agent two in our hearts. So halfway, more than halfway through this first quarter, still goalless. Some That's, nice defense has been played yeah, today. Yeah, some nice the defense. has been pretty solid. Yep. Andrew Beard looking to run downhill. Look at that speed. Ooh. Bouncer. Just why. Seven retains possession with half the shot clock left. <laughs> Geek. Geek backs. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that went a little too high for Mason Irvin that time. And it will be MSJ ball. MSJ yelling to settle and slow down. I think they just want to get a good look this time and run their offense, but Severn defense is making it quite hard for that. Number 40 here. Against Andrew Beard. Yeah, number 40 just holding in the end zone. Owen Cooper. See what he can do. Good pass. Nice save. Nice save. Never mind, Two. I guess that was not a save because they didn't change the uh, shot clock, so. Maybe because he just bounced it off. Yeah. Him, but seems like a save to me. Oh. Oh. Some nice defense. Cole Kiefer causing that turnover there. Oh my gosh. That's great defense. This sideline's going crazy. Coach Bugs Two's loves that. Six. Yep. Wild on the sideline. Shout out to Chase Anderson, and Henry Reith. Side like captains, as they like to say. Yep. Some nice clearance there by KJ Lloyd to Chase Hallam. Now into the sticks of JQ. Ooh. Damn. The bouncer. Seven retains possession. Yeah. Would have been a tough shot right there. That was a tough shot indeed. Luke Hayes looking to get into his bag right here. Love when Luke's in his bag. Scary sight. Andrew Beard, I don't think anybody can keep him in front of them. Ooh. 
great play by him, but Crease. Oh, wow. I believe they called Crease, as Devin yeah. said, and that'll be MSK ball. Connor Smith checking into the game here for the Severn Admirals. President of the junior class. President, uh, junior, no, vice president of vice the uh, oh, of the school, the yeah. whole school. Yep. Some more good defense, but I believe timeout was wow. called before the turnover was forced. That was a nice timeout by MSJ, and we'll be right back. We are back. The time match just ended. And MSJ will rip, uh, keep possession of the ball. Yeah, we're still looking for that first goal here. Three quarters of the way. Done with this first quarter. It's been a great, gritty, aggressive battle so far. Synchronized uh, swing call there yeah, by the nice MSG. Yeah. By like a choir. Yeah. MSJ is definitely swinging it right now. Swinging it around, around town. Swinging it around town, as SpongeBob would say. This seems to be one of their better sets. They're moving it pretty quickly, but still. You gotta do something. Yeah. Not. <laughs> Seems like, like yeah, they're not getting too much right now. Seventh so defense pretty stout right now. Yeah, it seems as if they're playing a nice zone. Yeah, that's what it appears. Ten seconds left on, and Ooh, Brady Irvin just Brady intercepts Irvin. that one. Yeah. And he's <laughs> past number 23. He's just gonna keep on running. Ooh, uh, time. Ooh. <laughs> we had a fast break there. Just a little unfortunate, but Jacob Todd. A, That's impressive. Yeah, that That's was very impressive. impressive. In a group of five, he wanted it the most, and he retains possession for the Admirals. He made a mistake, and he fixed it. Chase Allen checking in. Little dodge. Mason Irvin. Ooh, he wanted to for a second. Shallow. Jacob Todd on it. I'm sure he's doing a good job of locking Todd up right now. Because when he gets going, it's hard to stop that. Definitely, yeah. 15 seconds left on this shot clock. Not too much going in the set right now. Todd on it. Just like MSJ's possession, they're moving it around well, go. but they just haven't got an opening. Oh, it's a great pass! Ooh. It's a great wow. pass! Wow! Nice great shot. cut Justin and a great Queen. goal by Justin Queen. That was a nice little play, finding the opening right there, getting on the goalie's backside, and just yeah. putting it in. Real nice. Great vision by Jacob Todd. Yeah, great pass and cut. And a great, great finish, finish. Oh, by Justin thanks. Queen. One nothing for the Severn Admirals. With 55 seconds left in this first quarter, <laughs> Reed Gills. Oh, Severn wins. Wins that one. With a hold on Mount St. Joe's, and Severn looking to gain a little momentum here. They do have the last shot if they want it. 
Love seeing Justin score that goal, fellow advisee, but boy, was he happy. Yep. Tanner Huber back on. Shiver just working around here for the last shot. Ten seconds left on this clock. I think Jacob Todd's going to run downhill. Cause some problems for number 26. Whoa. Shift in that double team. Two seconds left. Ooh, nice Good little save. save by number 24. He launches it. And he launches it. And... Ah, we don't catch it. <laughs> that is the end of the first quarter. Severn up 1-0. We'll be right back. It's Devin Williams, Baxter Wright, back with you here again. 107 Admirals, and it's the second quarter. Let's get back to lacrosse. What do you think the Admirals need to continue? What does MSJ need to do to get back in it? Well, I mean, for the MSJ, I think I need to see more from their front front line. Uh, haven't seen much from their three attack men, but in ter terms Seven of Severn, really they're... Reed with another uh, Reed Gills with another face-off draw there, just controlling the face-off spot. Keep on playing great defense, and then goals just start coming. Yeah, the face-offs are so important in lacrosse. Looks like a little play here on the, on the first set to Jacob Todd. Andrew Beard here. Oh, nice little move. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, nice little moves here. Ooh. Wow, put a man on the ground. Did put a man on his ground. He however. didn't know where to go after that. He was confused. Yeah. Doesn't mean anything if you don't make a goal out of it. That is ooh. true, Devin. Ah. Jacob Todd drawing those double teams. He finds wow. Trey Dring Trey for Dring. a great bounce goal. Nice goal. Yeah, so there. So he did Jacob make something Todd, out of it. He did make something out of it. He drew the double team. Trey found a good spot and just caught the ball and turned and put it right in the goal. That has to be an Aloysius edit. That will be an Aloysius edit. <laughs> Fellow uh, classmate, Ish Edie. Fellow side. commentator as well, Ish yep. Edie. Up here with us right now. Ooh. Took a second to put the goal on the screen. See who takes some face off. And, ooh. Reed Seven Gills wins. with another one. It's three for four. He's doing a great job so far this game. 
Brady Irvin, to Tanner Huber. Chalum. Get Chalum on the board. Finds Luke Ayers. To Todd. He's attacking now. Oh, and a great save from point blank from their goalie. That seems to be it. Never mind. Number 34 does a great job to keep the ball there. However, number 34, Garrett Conley. KJ. Scoop set up. It's well done by KJ Lloyd there. Seven keeps it. Chase Allen looking to attack. Yeah. Gets wow, in. Chalo. And the goal from Chase Allen. He's hyped. What a great play. Love to have Chalum show out. I believe Ryan Hallam's out here today. I believe Ryan Hallam is out here today, and that's a great play from the sophomore Mitty. Yes. Sidelines going hype for Chalum. 3 0 now for the Severn Admirals. And you can sense the uh, energy dying from this uh, MSJ yeah, sideline. They've, they've gone way more. Oh, no. Lead a Gills. Easy, a little too easy. Fourth in a row. And another shot, but a save. Yeah, their defense was so stout for a while, but it's, it's, yep. it's falling apart. Jacob Todd Ooh, with wow. the Ooh, he's pressure in the goalie. the goalie. Goalie's under some duress. The ball's on the ground. What is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! And a, and a hit on Luke Hayes. Big ol' hit on Luke Hayes. Nope. And number 26 will be going to sit down for that one. Danny McGuire will have to sit down after that. It's a little bit of chaos there on the field. and There has to be a little frustration there. Severn looks to extend this lead with an extra man opportunity now. I believe so. Refs coming up. Bodies falling all over the place. Goalie on the ground. Just talk it over. Help on the ground. Luke is on the ground. Everybody was on the ground. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, this MSG sideline is silent. Yep, number 26. And that will be a 60 second penalty. So more than enough time to work this 6 on 5 opportunity for Severn. not make it too much easier for MSJ, who's already having a little struggle right now. Yep. Luke Hayes. Just moving it around pretty quickly. Luke Hayes. Andrew Beard. Seems to be a zone defense right here. Just clean with the shot, the bouncer. But we'll get it back. Seven it is. Jacob Todd. The point of attack. Turnover there. But wow. great, relentless defense from Queen there. Way to win it back. The yeah, Queen's defense is just amazing. And Drang with the ground ball is. Great stuff from those two. Todd. To Beard. To Hayes to Beard. Watch out, watch out. Ooh. We're back to full strength now. Couldn't make too much out of the opportunity. Oh, but Jacob Todd's going to take it down. Wow! He waited for them to get even. Jacob Todd is Jacob just dominating Todd. right now. He has a goal and two assists, and MSJ defense had it locked up for a quarter, but they have no answer for him right now. 4 0 Admirals. The clock still hasn't. Run yeah, a little late on the scoreboard. On the scoreboard. But it's all good. <laughs> it's like a little yeah, late uh, still, score, but it is 4-0. Um, yeah. yeah, it is 4 nothing. <laughs> Tell them. Sleepers at the table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. 4-0. Yeah. 
And that's Reed's fifth straight. That's just dominating the face-off circle right now. Yeah, when you dominate the face-off, you're, you're most likely dominating the game. Yeah, when you have so many possessions, so many extra offensive possessions, it really helps. It's hard to win a game when you can't get possession. Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. I mean, they're picking up the ball in their defensive end, but they... They can't get to their offense. Yep. As Cole Kiefer does a great job to keep it in the offensive end there. Cole Kiefer seems to be in his bag earlier. We heard him on the during the uh, break. Ooh, what a hype. juke from Tanner Huber. Lefty shot from Andrew Beard there, and a good save by number 24. A lot of speed. Andrew Beard right back there. Great recovery from him. Let's see what the MSJ can do here. Number 32 here. Against Just working it around. Not seeming to get too much. Number 32 doesn't want to go against Loves number one, spins. Brady Irvin. It's a bad Ooh. pass. Ball's on the ground. Yeah, Great ground ball Nick by Nick Sott. Pass to Luke Hayes. Carter Johnson. Little spin move. Little substitution here, getting Ch Chalum back in the game. Get the hot hand back in. Of course. <laughs> Chalum with the move. Ran right to the man just to juke him out. Luke is here. To Queen. So we're halfway through the second quarter. Just to Queen. Twenty seconds left in this shot clock. Carter Johnson. Oh, fake move. Little shifty. Lost the ball for a second, but he got it back. Tanner Huber here with ten seconds left. Little move. <gasps> got to go quick here for Sever, or they might just clock it. Yeah, yeah they have to clock it. The Nurse Jay got a little bit more energy after that. MSJ loves that, but let's say. Looking to change the course of this game and going to have to get something on the offensive end. Yeah, they're really not too deep in yet. A lot of time in this game. Just got to make something happen soon. Yeah. They seem to have a lot of problems clearing the, the ball here as number 40 has been open. And they're uh, about to get the 22nd. That seems to be 22nd. They got it. Yeah. Wow. That's, it's really poor from uh, MSJ yeah, there. It's a sloppy clearing. you got to have solid clearing. Yeah. Little things. A little thing will kill you. From above, you could see that number 40 was wide open with nobody guarding him. However, MSJ unable to make that pass, and they give the ball right back to Severn. Little hit and ball trick, never mind. Jay Queen. Jay Q onto that favorite left hand. I believe the clock should not be going right now, but. Luke Hayes running down hill. Beard looking to get onto that right. Aggressive defense from number three there. Back to the roots of aggressive D. Trey, Trey. Drain getting on that left hand. Oh. Severn keeps it again. MSJ coach trying to get their silent to be a little loud. I really love that uh that bench communication. Gotta love it. Carter Johnson here with a shot and it is wide. Beard here, looking to go straight to the goal. They threw a flag. And I'm not sure what happened.
three black with a push. And a 30 second timeout, or 30 second penalty. So the Admirals will get their second chance at 6 on 5 here. Let's see what they can draw up. They weren't able to make it work last time, but immediately when it came even again, they scored. So. Yep. Trey Drang here with the shot. A good save. But Severn keeps the ball. Trey Drang again. And he snipes it. Great pass from Justin Queen and great shot by Trey Drang. It is 5 nothing right now for Severn. And MSJ. Is very upset right now. He's telling their top three middies to move down. Yep, if they're not going to keep the ball, and I mean, I don't blame their coaches. Yeah. I mean, I, I Something's got to change. Yep. Yep. But then they throw it over. It's great hustle there from Reed Gills. They call some sort of infraction, and MSJ gets the ball. Finn Kinsella checking in for the first time in the game. <laughs> Definitely. Any time when you can... Keep an opponent to zero goals this this late in the game. It's a great sign. There just seems to be a lot less mental errors and mistakes and than prior games. Yeah, just just little things and it's paying off in a big way. It's great defense there. Ooh, that s stick just broke and flag. Drawn, but Willie Perez makes a save. Hopefully, uh, Finn, Finn has another stick, but odd play there. I'm not sure what is. going on right now. I think it's a 6 on 5. Yeah, it is a 6 on 5 for MSJ here. Yep. Got a good look there. However, it's just far wide and doesn't really challenge Willie Perez too much. Yep. Some better movement now that they have. Now that Severn has one less man, however. The shots aren't really going on target. Yeah, and we're back at full strength as Justin Queen comes back in. Severn looks to go a little more man. Some good. Defense there. Nice little move from number three. And he got pummeled by Jameson Wilt. Love to see that. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Looking to shoot from an angle with no. Yeah, that hit seemed to do absolutely nothing for Nick Sot. Like. Justin Queen back on it, and Severn calls a timeout as they re retain possession.
this Severn team is hyped up right now, especially the defense. They're really having a nice day. On the other side of the thing, so I just really just kick things off. Getting a little bit of a 5 0 swamp. Never like to see that. Let's see what um, Severn can do here with not the last shot, as there's a 11 second difference between shot and game clocks, but they can take this, wind this down, and p practically get the last shot if they really want. Coach telling the D to suck in. I wonder what he means by that. Yeah, I think they're trying to have him not get too spread out. I'm scared for a big play by this several offense, lethal offense. Well, offense really spread out here, as you see, Luke Hayes and Jerry Todd out pretty, pretty wide. Just working it around. Mason Irvin to Todd. Yeah, they're. Couldn't get it into Todd there as his guy pressed up. Mason Irvin to Justin Queen on his left. No good. Seven ball, ball with five seconds left on the shot clock. Doesn't seem to be too big of a problem. They. Not sure what's actually going on to the clock, but Jacob Todd, the far shot, and a good save. It's about to be halftime, two seconds, and they can't even catch it.
clock right now. Never mind, it got fixed. Was that 1158 for a second? Yeah. It's all good. Low work mistakes down there. We'll figure it out. Eventually. Yeah, I mean, number 10, he's, he's screaming, let's go, Black. Like, it's not something you would expect to see from somebody who's down 5 nothing. but, I mean, I love the energy, I guess. I mean, you the yeah. You're not going to get out of it without the energy. It's so. true, but uh, this energy has not correlated so far. But Ooh, but they win the They, win they the do win the face-off. I think Reed Gills is a little surprised at that, too. Reed Gills might be a little surprised himself, yeah. Justin Queen just was smothering defense, though. However, he does seem to ooh, get past him. Number 28 was no, open. No, it's over there. He did not get him. It's a nice little bottle pop pass to the guy right next to him. Got uh, people walking behind the offensive set, but uh, <laughs> doesn't really make sense. But Number 31 here. 40 seconds left. Still a lot of time. Should be. Must be a. Ooh, gets. Wow. Nice check there by KJ Lloyd. Picks up that ground. Oh, there was a little miscommunication seem there between him and Brady Irvin, and just let the ground ball get back to MSJ, which should have been a routine one for Severn. So I gotta reset the clock. Have a little more time to dance around. Number Ooh. eight. I believe that hit, hit the bar, but did not go in. Nice little save. Kind of unlucky for MSJ. Little unlucky, definitely. KJ doing a great job there. A little miss cue from Cole Kiefer, but he picks up the ground ball nonetheless. Sir Kiefer. And passes it off to Trey Drang. Aloysius it's at it's on the run. Trying to get his... Got to get the angles right. Got to get the good angles. At Aloysius.edits, go follow. Exquisite. Justin Queen here. Angel Beard, looking to go downhill. He's looking to get back to that right, but they don't let him. Todd there with a nice little juke, a little fake. And a great save. What a nice save. Jacob Todd, though, got into just bag of tricks again there. And MSJ was lucky to come out of it. Their coaches keep saying settle here, and I'm not I'm not sure that's a play for MSJ. I think they might need to run and get out in fast break because when this Severn defense is set, 6v6, I don't know if... And I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. That was, a, that was a nice little play by him. Now 5-1 for MSJ, and they're looking to build a little momentum here and maybe bring this game back. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, give it up to MSJ. That was, they came out. Definitely. They did what they needed they to started, do. They started the half the perfect that was, way. Yeah, that was real nice. Came up the side, just put it right in that corner. Can they get their first back-to-back face-off? No, they cannot. Great job by Reed Gills there, who's looking to push it to Jacob Todd. Great pass to Trey Dring. And a goal just like that. Trey Dring with the fake out on the goalie. Reed Gills with the pass to the assist. A great play by Severn. Jacob Todd with his third assist. And just like that, the MSJ sideline is silent. I mean, I don't know what, how you guys react, react after that. Yeah, I mean. Go down, do far hard, fight hard. Yeah. Immediately lose the face off and a quick goal. That's yeah. Hard. Saverin just made it look effortless there. Oh, but they're going to. Oh, Read it yeah. on the ground. That's his, it's his second time doing that. And the second time he's been penalized for it, but it's all good. It's Finn Kinsella with a new stick. Checks on. Or 23 here. Number 17. You tried to do the same. Goal. Real nice. 
Willie Perez retains it with Jameson Will. Nice distribution of Finn Kinsella, who's running here. Tanner Huber on now. Severin look to to extend their lead to six, which would be their biggest lead of the game. A little double pick action for Tanner to Mason Irvin. Ooh, a little spin move had him all Ooh. rattled. Mason Irvin with the goal. What a play. Love to see it from Merv. Great play. I believe it is his first goal of the season. Yeah, he's at it. Some assists. Some great play from him. So, MSA's losing that momentum they had. Yeah. They lost it, I guess. They did lose it. Very short time they had it. Ooh. That's wow. definitely a trip on St. Joe. So Reed Gills won that one. That's legal. Great job from him. Is here. Justin Queen. Back to Todd. Coach telling him to shoot that, and he shoots it, and that is his fifth point of the game. Jacob Todd in complete control of this. Of this. MSJ defense. I won't go as far as say that he owns them, but uh, he kind of owns them right now. He's renting them, yeah. And MSJ needs to talk it over. And we'll be right back. Seven yeah, has a, over, so. a commanding seven goal lead. Eight goal lead. Oh, Eight. seven. <laughs> seven goal lead. Seven goal lead. Oh, yeah. good. Um, crease right there. Connor Smith in on wing right now. Reed Gills wins that one comfortably. Oh, on Running down. Ooh, ooh. Shoot it, Reed. Ooh, 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 With the goal. Reed gets it. I was right back. Bench there. loves that. Eight goal lead. I just predicted the future. It's a great play from Reed Gills. <laughs> He's hyped. 
And Severn, yeah, <laughs> Severn absolutely loves it. I would say Severn lacrosse is in the bag right now. I would say so too. Severn might be leasing MSJ currently. One step up. Little repeat, question mark? Not this time. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, but he loses the ball. It's a great check by Connor Smith. Great stuff there to retain possession by Trey Drink. Seven coaches are loving it. I'm honestly looking to see a little bit of some Chase Anderson soon. Yeah, I'm trying to see Shandy out there, run around, make some plays. Run, I heard Chase Anderson. Yeah, last time they kind of drew up a play for him. Uh, didn't didn't work perfectly. Pass pass didn't perfectly work. Beer just running around the defense though right now. Loses his feet, gets back up, keeps the ball. It's calm as ever. Todd's gonna fighting hard. Ball's on the ground. Justin Queen with the ground ball. The pass to Trey. One more. It's Beard. A little sloppy here. Mason Irvin working hard to retain it. Goalie out here again. Mason Irvin. <laughs> Some contact. So, a little chaotic again. Love the chaos. Love the chaos, definitely. Smacked him. White moved early. I don't know. I don't know about that one, but uh, Jay keeps the ball. Be upset at Reed Gills after his performance so far today, but yeah. I'll uh that green just call in Yeah. <laughs> defense there, yeah. yep. Great defense there from Cole Kiefer. Attackman just forced a shot. It was no problem for Willie Perez. Little uh commotion here. KJ. So comfortable for KJ Lloyd there. Go so on, big fella. Go on. Oh, love to see it. Everyone wanted that to happen. KJ sprinting back. You love to see it. Luke Hayes. <laughs> KJ back on defense. in the wine special right now. Like play seems to be a little off cue. The there's some, there's not something right special now. right now, and they keep Ooh, trying to do that so same cool. thing on Cole Kiefer and Willie Perez, and it's not gonna work. But I mean, if they get a shot on target, could be a success for them. So who oh, knows? Yeah. Carter Johnson seems to have uh, subbed out uh, Jacob Todd. Got. Yeah, that's, uh, 
Charlie Hall. What's up? Luke Hayes here. Getting double teamed. Charlie Hall. To Luke Hayes. Looking to do a little couple moves. Trey on the cut. Low pass and unable to catch it. Goalie's out again. Challenge about that action. Merv on the on the check on unfortunate. Action right there too. He's coming out. Love to see it. <laughs> Aggressive. <laughs> Merv coming off. For Justin Queen. Still low. Never mind. 60 on the clock. And the, <laughs> the synchronization calls from MSJ. It's quite. <laughs> yeah, if their game was as good as their synchronization, I mean, they have a pretty good game, yeah. Bounces up. Pass and cut. Looking to put the moves on Nick Sot. Far left footed, left handed shot. Ooh. And they just. Wow. MSJ, that's another goal where it's just bouncing around and they get to pick it up. That is. It's now. 40. 9 Ooh, to 3 super. for 7. Nice job, Keith. Still comfortable, but. Severn, definitely not happy to give up these last two goals. Gonna look to go on the aggressive and pad their lead even more now. Definitely. Six point, a six point lead's not that crazy. Yeah, no, it definitely a isn't. Time, a lot of time. Looks like that could have been a. Oh, he doesn't see the ball. Number 14. Can he pick it up? Hey. No, he can. This is messy across right now. They got the timeout in time. That's a great timeout for MSJ. Welcome back. This will likely be the final possession of the quarter. 47 seconds left for the MSJ Gales. <laughs> you can look to bring this back to just a five goal game. Still a lot of work to do, but 
knows? They, they got a lot of heart. I'll give it to them. Yeah, they kept the spirit up the entire game. Definitely. Points, I mean, Definitely. Like, not that much lacrosse. Moving it quick here. They do have the last shot. It's going in for the long shot. and Yeah, that shot like that from that distance won't beat Perez too often. But Pretty solid goalie. Very solid. Committed to the... Uh, yep. 12 seconds left. Look to get it to Jacob Todd and have him run. Ooh. Goal. Wow, what? Jacob Todd, <laughs> what a great goal. It's his third goal to go along with three assists. Got six points. Two. That was very poor defense from number 12 there. He just quite literally let him walk by him. I, I'm not sure he knew that he had the ball, yeah, but he, he literally walked by him. And then... Great shot from Todd, nonetheless. Yeah, it's hard to come back when you do little things. Yep. Ooh, pop that thing up. That looked like a girl's uh, face off. Shooting it. Pop, no pop good. No good. And it's the quarter. Number 40, uh, sophomore, standout football player, standout. Basketball player. Basketball player, now standout lacrosse player, Bo Fowler. Only a sophomore, three sport varsity athlete. It's hard to come by nowadays. But Dude, he's been doing pretty well recently. Yeah, no, that's what he has been. And Reed keeps possession of it. Great job from him. Takes it to the end zone. If you're Severin, time's time is your friend here. Don't MSJ does not. Yep. Do you happen to spot Gavin the Panther Wicker down there? So hopefully he'll help us soon. Great cut and pass by Mason Irvin and Trey Drang. Two games going on. A little high, though. Severn keeps possession with about 35 seconds on the shot clock. Justin Queen here. Ten seconds here. Looking to cut. Have a cutter. It's a, it's a great move by Andrew Beard. 
No, he did not just score that. Oh my oh. gosh, what a play oh by Andrew goodness. Beard. <laughs> that's incredible. The defense, uh, the bench is signaling on his head, and that's definitely what Andrew Beard just did there. Between two defenders falling down to the ground. Oh wow, bounces. Six God Henry Reith and Paul Baldwin just had a nice little celebration right there on the sideline. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's, it's a great day for seven right now. At this point. I'm just wondering when we get the six got in and also uh, deuces. Another one from Reed Gills there. To Brady Irvin. Jacob Todd. And it's just calm right now for the Severn Admirals. Yeah. Might as well release the six god. Callum. A little pick and roll action with Mason. Oh, he wanted that. That's the thing with Todd. I mean, you, you can push him to to his left, however. That shot almost took out some JV girl players. Oh, yeah, it did. However, he can use his left. Well, like he can use his right. Little little kickball action going on in the end zone. Little ooh. Ooh. Jacob Todd with a push there. I mean, just set him to the ground. Yeah, that's just like a weight room type of thing. But yeah. the refs can call it, I guess. Big bank, big low bank. MSJ here. Number 17 here. To seven. As we see Jackson Barrel check in on the for the attack. Ooh, double spin move. Ooh, that's kind of nice there. Yeah, he has no Andrew Beard, though. That's, that's true. <laughs> Try to replicate it, but not good enough. Good stuff there from Jameson Wilt. Get that ground ball over to KJ. Lloyd. Chase Hallam or OBJ with that uh, one-handed catch there. Ooh. And he goes through the double team, but he gets pummeled. Wow. And they're saying the check was great, but, but he fell on top of him. So I'm not sure what that means, but That's kind of funny. that was a nice check for sure by the, by the duo of MSJ players. This is kind of a new look on the offensive end. Couple younger players here: Carter Johnson, Jackson Barrel, Tanner Huber. Oh, Carter on his wow. on his knees right now. <laughs> Lose the ball. And I mean, surely you get two picked up by MSJ. Oh, surely they they'll be out there in a second. I'm sensing them coming in soon. Yeah. Justin Queen, however, he's still out there, just running around. His legs. He's Never get fun. tired. He is just having fun. Same with that whole defensive line. And Nick Sots still going strong. Same with Willie, Willie Perez. Little double team on number seven here. Yeah, you gotta catch those. He, he heard the footsteps coming there, and he got a little spooked for sure. S step down, and Willie's there, ready for that. Ooh, the hell, Mary! Oh, he scoops it in. He leaves that in. Stays in, and Carter Johnson picks up the drown ball. Murphy 
back in. They can push it here. Severn can push it. Ooh, you oh, Trey with the shot. The goalie with a little block oh. in there. Oh, the goalie's Ooh. got... Oh, not the, someone. Interesting play there. Connor Smith checking on here. Severn Admirals. Stewart getting into it down here. 25-26. Yep, yep. Good D there. However, the rebound, and he did blow the open goal, hit the post. A lot of commotion here. Tanner Huber with the ground ball. And it's got to be something there. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, and the flag go. goes. And Jacob Todd wants to go back out there to get more points, but not gonna lie. Coach, Coach Bugs not letting him go back out there. I don't blame him. It's Starting crew or extra man offense is out there except for Jacob Todd. I believe he actually picked up a uh, a knock on his foot yesterday in practice, but that didn't seem to have too much of an impact on his performance today. Queen and Johnson, the Hayes, Johnson, Beard. Coach likes that one. Severn keeps possession. Dring here. Johnson to the cutting. Luke Hayes. He slots it low and all, and I could have sworn that was a goal. However, that hit the side nutting. And MSJ is looking to clear the ball here. See number twenty-two, uh, Chase Anderson, getting ready down there. He's, he's, he's ready. I'm ready. He's ready. We're all ready. Great save there by Perez. It's been great between the sticks today. Alongside with that whole defensive unit, Kiefer unable to handle that one. Goes back to MSJ, but yeah, overall it's been a great performance by. This defensive unit of Severn, as well as the offensive unit, just a great performance. Yeah, talk talk too soon again, but John Spears is on the scoreboard. We seem to have a new face-off man, Gunner Foot here at the center, and Jack Reed is looking to go in. Sophomore goalie. I think Severn's still scared to release twos. They are. I mean, I think I MSJ is a little scared. I think that probably they might be. Yeah, they might be watching out for MSJ. Yeah. Ooh, Jackson oh, Barrel with the oh, hit stick. Oh wow. my gosh, I'd love to see that. Wow. That's embarrassing. <laughs> so, Jackson Barrel been hitting the weights, but Jackson Barrel, yeah, he's he's been in the weight room. MSJ coach is loving this. Got a new look here. Charlie Hall back on defense. Same with Connor Smith. Some good defense there. And another goal for the Gales. Is 11 to 5 now. As Jack Reed checks in for Willie Perez. Great performance by Willie today. 
Will Huber checking in. Get a wing. Oh, Willie Perez got a haircut. Willie Perez did get a haircut. It looks great. Cut off the locks. And Connor Mahan as well. Some new looks. Love to see that. There you go, Gunner. Ah, unfortunate. Justin Queen is still in there, folks. Love to see that. He does love lacrosse. Same with Jamison Wilt. Good for him. Great save right away from Jack Reed. And he's going. He's a fast little kid. Oh, and he loses his footing. He'll need to get back in the goal quickly. A timeout from Savern. Just talk things over. Wow. And the ref goes, it's a great timeout. We got a new look here, even more new faces. Will Huber on defense alongside Will, Will Dickinson, stud tight end. For also, hating Gargliano out here, former shadow of mine. Good timeout from Severn there just to calm things down and Number seven. Number seven. John Spears scored that goal. That's the second goal of the day. Severn is putting Reed Gills back out there just to. They win yeah, they, they. There's been three pretty quick goals for MS today, but Reed will look to slow it down. Hopefully, win this face off and it'll be all good. Great job by him. Now Severn should be able to take 80 seconds off this clock if they really if they really want to. Hating G out there. That's alongside Connor Mahan. Carter Johnson with a quick shot and it's saved. MSJ looks to run through all this. Through these past couple of... Oh, he... Number, Charlie Hall on the ground. Wow. And, he, wow. and this is a four goal wow. game. I believe all this. Severn. Severn, I, yeah, I believe Brady Irvin, Nick saw it going back out there. Everybody got a chance. To just just a, little, a couple unfortunate plays. and They are bringing it back slightly, but. It's, still is in pretty comfortable position for Severn, I believe. Ref got in the way and just gave him that. That yeah, that is a little. Uh, that is questionable, definitely. It's really not 
much time left yet. You gotta hurry up. Little hit stick. The refs. The refs really wanted a flag on that. However, coach. Coach is all. Yeah. Great move there by number 17, but Nick Sod is there the whole time. Got a minute left on this game. Oh, he gets right in. This is. Would you look at this? I don't believe what I'm seeing. Five unanswered goals. The whole. It's ever funny to regular D. This is incredible. Man down, face off for Severn too. So they are a man down. Essentially, I, th I, th well, left, I think I mean, the coaches are, yeah, the coaches. <laughs> well done by, Ooh. that's got to be a trip Ooh, there. On. Yeah, surely a trip. Reed Gill's won that one. And now Severn is at the point where they can get the ball to Andrew Beard or Brady Irvin or Justin Queen and just run around with this thing. MSJ is very upset at this. They're screaming at everything. They are screaming. Timeout for Severn here. Last 43 seconds here. MSJ will definitely do all that they can in their power to get this ball back, but it's hard to get the ball back in a case like this, especially when you got get the ball in Brady Irvin's hand. Brady Irvin's hand be able to run around, challenge with the moves. A little double team. Look at Chase, man. Inspirational. The triple team doesn't even phase him. So <laughs> Oh, he finally loses it. Oh, 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 oh managed to split. That, yeah, he's our ooh, players yelling at him, get up. He looks a little hurt. Yeah, yeah last 10 seconds of this oh, game. Right. Severn will be able to just close this one out with an 11-8 victory. If St. Paul's travel down to St. Paul's on Friday and this week, though, we have a lot of other uh, lacrosse games, so tune in to Admiral TV. It's been Baxter Wright and Devin Williams. Thank you.